Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today with my first Fallout 76 guide. One of many folks, get ready because over time you are going to see a bunch. The first thing I want to focus on is weapon crafting because there are many mechanics in Fallout 76 and I don't think Bethesda necessarily fully explains everything there, whether it's a failed job on their parts or they want the player to discover it, I am unsure. But anyway, today I want to explain to you guys how you can get all the weapon mods you want for your weapons. Now it's hard to tell when you're going to get a specific one because this is all sort of randomized through this process. You can loot weapon mods out in the open world, you can buy them from vendors as well so there are multiple ways to get them but I think this is the most efficient way to constantly get upgrades for your weapons so you can loot a pipe pistol and turn it into something completely different by the end of your upgrading stage so first of all loot 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 it does help to have five of the same weapon why is that because when you go to a workbench yes any workbench it doesn't matter if it's armor it's the tinkers workbench it is the weapons workbench any place you can scrap items go in there go to your weapons menu and start scrapping all those extra weapons and you'll notice on the top left corner you're gonna start unlocking modifications over and over and over and they'll be randomized like I said you can't really pick them out so if you were to scrap a very high level weapon it's not necessarily a guarantee that you get something from that high level weapon because I tried it myself and it was actually the one weapon I got nothing from so it's best in my opinion just to scrap common weapons and determine the value of them based based off the level of said weapon. So if it's a level 15 weapon or a level 20 weapon, you might get something different for that level area. Now there are different perks that are tied to weapon scrapping and crafting that you're going to want to have if you want to make use of these mods you're unlocking. Keep that in mind if you start scrapping valuable stuff that maybe you could sell for caps, that this is important because there are perks like Scrapper, which when you scrap these weapons, you get additional components which can be used to make those mods that you are trying to unlock. On top of that, there are perks such as Gunsmith and so on under the Intelligence section that you can assign to your character, which allow you to equip these mods. This is super, super important because if you go to the Workbench section right here, you will see, ladies and gentlemen, that my character is not equipped to put any of these mods on my weapons. Now, is it the end of the world? No, because if you followed my initial steps of just scrapping common weapons, I lost nothing of insane value and I just gained a ton of mods. So once I have these modifications available and the perk cards needed to apply them, I'll be good to go. Now, this might be the Fallout 76 specific feedback loop that steps in for gamers because it becomes addicting to collect all the junk, place down a new camp, scrap all your items, and see if you can apply any mods to your weapons because man, they are so helpful. I'll tell you what, when you can get something like a barbed wire mod on your walking cane, it makes all the difference in a battle. So it's really helpful to know exactly how to scrap them. And I do appreciate the commenter out there who made me aware of this because I feel once again that I don't think Bethesda did a good job explaining anything. They just kind of assume that you'll figure this stuff out. And I was exploring the world the whole time I was playing the beta on the Xbox thinking I'd stumble upon mods or I had to buy them with my own money which can be a pain in the butt at times so knowing that you can just scrap common weapons is really helpful and I highly suggest you do it to make the most of your character and the items you loot it's hard to balance between all the junk you've got and also all the weapons you have so it may help that while you're looting the world you invest in some strength perk cards to lessen the weight of some items you find like junk or if you have someone in your group who is a charisma strength builder hybrid maybe they can give you some extra carry weight so you can take all those extra weapons with you and then scrap them at the workbench it's a really healthy system that ends up becoming a little more manageable if you're playing with a group anyway that's your very simple crafting guide for weapons when it comes to fallout 76 it's just a matter of scrapping weapons unlocking random mods applying them to your weapons when you have the right amount of materials and perk cards attached. And remember, you can swap out these perk cards, so you don't have to permanently keep these intelligence perk cards slotted to your character. Only put them in when you need to actually craft something. It's really helpful when you're exploring the wasteland to maybe change that to something else, and then when it's time to craft, swap in the needed perk cards, and that's how the game really works. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any more questions or requests for guides, 
do fire away in the comments down below. You guys know me, I'll be putting out those rare weapon armor guides. That's always a shoe in with me, but if there's something that maybe you're a little hazy on with the game that I could try to explain for you and many others out there, feel free to fire your requests in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content we create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.